for giving teens who are struggling with mental health a purpose. Joining me right now is Rose McVeigh, the founder of Ben's Ranch Foundation. First of all, thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's our pleasure. This yep. is exciting. This is a wonderful event, the first annual barn bash at Connor Prairie, which I know a lot of people can be involved in and have a really great time. But let's get to the heart of what you guys do and what you're all about. Oh, you bet. Well, we, you know, there's an exploding epidemic of mental health problems yeah. among our youth. And uh, I had that uh, really impact my family. So we're trying, uh, based on that experience, to create a new weapon in the mm -hmm. war against teen mental illness. And what we do uniquely is we connect young teenagers struggling with depression, anxiety, and other common uh, disorders to jobs and other experiences on farms, ranches, and at stables, and places like mm -hmm. Connor Prairie. We believe in the power of outdoors oh, and yeah. nature and human animal interaction to heal and that's what we're all about. Oh, and I love that how you how you say that to heal because that's it, it's so powerful right being out in nature um, but also with with animals it, it's you a bet. therapy. Oh yeah. What what differences do you notice in the kids from start to finish? Oh it's it's so immediate and it's amazing if you think about the contrast between sitting at home in front of a cell phone or a TV with all that coming yeah. in on you versus yeah. being outdoors, interacting. But the science is amazing too. It's becoming more clear that that touch with an animal, mm -hmm. whether it's a lap pet at a hospital or it's a horse, uh, is terribly powerful. And we're yeah. just now getting to measure that. So we see almost instant uh, results with most of the kiddos. And our primary mm -hmm. role right now is to connect them to a job opportunity so they also feel important, they right. feel part of a team, it's You've got structured. That purpose. That's right. Absolutely. And of course, we want to keep this going and continue to give them the opportunity. So you're having this uh, first annual barn bash at Connor Prairie. Tell me about this. What's all going to be involved in this yeah, uh, big you know, fun event? I would say it's going to be a lot of fun, but here's the basic point you can contrast an old, stodgy hotel room with a big banquet and a lot of speeches. Yeah with our style, which is to go to Connor Prairie, uh, our guests, which, uh, you know, you can still sign up for this event. It's Sunday afternoon. They can, uh, you know, have general admission to mm -hmm. Connor Prairie. We have a live band out of Nashville, Tennessee. Great meal, silent auction, lots of games and hot air balloon rides. Oh, that's uh, so and it's so really made fun. for families, and it's, uh, it's a really celebration of, uh, of this concept yeah. that, you know, healing comes from this. It comes from within and in places like this for sure. You bet. And I bet that you also learn more about yourself, right? Who you are as a person and what, what fuels you and what makes you feel whole in a sense that perhaps you didn't know oh, yeah. otherwise. Well, you know, one example of that is, is sort of our meter is self-esteem among these kids. And when you take them out of the places that are stressors and you put them in an environment like that, it opens up their senses mm -hmm. and it re-engages their curiosity. And that's pretty transformational. Yeah. And then they begin to examine what interests they have and they find a path to learning. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's, it's pretty spectacular and it's elegantly simple. We can do this mm. in our schools and how that. we teach. We can do it as parents to make sure we're including these kind of experiences in the development of our children. Mm -hmm. It's kind of one of those deals that's fundamental, but we just have to rediscover it as a society right. and get it back into our priorities. Well, and especially during the pandemic, I know that that has taken, I mean, that's taken a toll on kids, oh, you know, it's been being terrible. in school and all the changes and the differences and then being at home for such an extended period of time. I mean, it's, it's confusing. Well, you know, before COVID, we counted about one in five youth as struggling with some kind of mental health issue at some point in their yeah. life. Now that number's much higher. Yeah. And our schools are the front lines and they're really struggling to deal with it. So we're working on some ideas of how we can plug into mm -hmm. our schools. Uh, but parents and, and teachers and community leaders have to be very aware of mental health and looking for it because it's very easy to misdiagnose it, right. misunderstand it, and mishandle it. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just really thankful. This celebration, by the way, you can get more details and sign up at bensranch.org on okay. our events page. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do it rain or shine unless it's uh, 
dangerous out there because we have a big, beautiful venue. Sure. And uh, folks can bring the family and have a blast and also be helping our mission. Yeah, two things in one. That's a win-win for sure. You we'll bet. put all the details on our website. But thank you so much for this event. Thank you, you for coming in and thank you for what you're doing. Oh, uh, it's my as pleasure. Well. We appreciate your support. Absolutely.